How do we tell the difference between 6061 and 6063 aluminum? Hi, I'm the Alloy Geek, and in this video, we learn how to identify and sort 6061 and 6063 aluminum. You've probably come across 6061 and 6063 aluminum without knowing what you were looking at. And if you've clicked on this video, you're probably wondering, what's the, what is the difference between 6061 and 6063 aluminum? 6061 is a heat treated aluminum containing magnesium and silicon as its major alloying elements. Originally called 61S, it was developed in the mid 1930s. 6061 aluminum has good mechanical properties, good weldability, and is commonly extruded second only to 6063. It is one of the most widely used aluminum alloys for general purpose use. 6063 is the most common alloy used for aluminum extrusion. It allows for complex shapes with smooth surface finishes, which makes it favorable for anodizing. Thus, 6063 is popular for architectural applications such as window frames, door frames, roofing, and more. Applications requiring higher strength, though, they use 6061 instead. In scrapyards, metals are often visually sorted, especially when metal analysis tools are not available. 6061 tends to have simpler structural shapes such as L-beams, I-beams, structural tubing, and other parts that rely on higher mechanical properties that 6061 can achieve through heat treatment. 6063 shares many of these similar shapes, but also includes complex geometries such as bleachers. Because many geometries are produced in both 6061 and 6063, we need a metal analysis device to correctly identify and sort them. Handheld Lives technology is shown in this video, which can quickly and safely identify your aluminum alloys in only a few seconds. I wanted to pause the video here and just say Handheld XRF can do a great job as well. Just be sure that your Handheld XRF is capable of measuring light elements such as magnesium and silicon. Now, let's use our handheld to take a closer look at 6061 and 6063. First, let's note the great identification of both alloys as we have a good match here in each case. To understand how our metal analyzer identifies these alloys, let's take a closer look at their chemical compositions. For 6061 and 6063, we need to look at three primary elements, silicon, magnesium, and copper. The chemical aims for silicon and magnesium are similar for both alloys, with 6061 having more silicon and magnesium than 6063. Copper is our first big differentiator, being about 0.1% max for 6063, but having an intentional aim of 0.15 to 0.4% in 6061. Although copper is low concentration of these alloys, most handheld metal analyzers can consistently separate on copper alone. In fact, a lot of XRFs do this. In order to sort 6061 and 6063 effectively, we need to look at a couple of things. First, the silicon and magnesium need to be in the range for these alloys. Second, we need to look for copper to be greater than about 0.15% for 6061 and less than 0.1% for 6063. Where both handheld libs and handheld XRF technologies can do this sort, my personal preference is handheld libs due to its light element superiority over XRF, its speed of analysis, and having no X-ray emission. Since these alloys are so similar, why is it important to identify and sort them? First, mechanical properties. 6061 is a stronger alloy than 6063. Second, corrosion resistance. 6063 has superior corrosion resistance than 6061. Third is cost. 6063 costs slightly less to produce than 6061. However, 6063 also fetches a higher price when it's recycled due to its higher purity than just 6061. Fourth is surface finish. 6063 is preferred for applications requiring a better surface finish. So that's it. Now you know the differences between 6061 and 6063 aluminum. You know how to sort them and what to look for on your handheld metal analyzer. If you enjoy this content, please consider liking this video. If you've subscribed to my channel and click the little bell down below, you will be notified when more content like this is released. I've included links below where you can buy your own handheld metal analyzer. If you would like additional batteries and chargers alone, check out the Alloy Geek website. Use the coupon code ALLOYGEEK to receive 5% off your order. If your company works with metals and you would like help from the Alloy Geek to find your handheld analysis solution, reach out using information found in the description of this video.
Thanks for watching.